we were talking about what ruins people's wealth. And he's like, it's baby mama, divorce. Mm -hmm. Divorce is the first one. Yeah. Men get, you get clean out. So you yeah. and I cannot split. If you want to keep your money, bro. <laughs> this, this is your sales pitch? This is my sales pitch on a staying married forever, okay? Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by ShipStation. The holidays are the most wonderful time of year, but if you're running an online store, you know they can also be the craziest time of year. You got inventory to manage, orders to fill, a growing list of stressed out customers checking in twice a day, wondering whether those last minute gifts will arrive on time. With ShipStation, the hassle of shipping out holiday orders melts away, leaving you with happier customers, more freedom to run your business, or enjoy some much needed time off. We love ShipStation because it is such an easy interface to see what's been ordered, what's been going out. I know if you've uh, received things you've ordered from us, some of that has been managed through ShipStation. Absolutely fantastic level of service. You save money and you save time, and what is better than that? Make this holiday season a little brighter with ShipStation. Use our offer code YMH to get a 60-day free trial, just enough time to handle the holiday rush. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and enter code YMH, ShipStation, make ship happen. You know what? 2022 is around the corner. You know what you need? A new mattress. Why not buy Sattva Luxury Mattress? We sleep on a Solaire. It goes up, it goes down, it vibrates, it lights up so that you can get up and take a pish in the middle of the night without falling over stuff. We've slept on all their beds. Uh, the Lumen Leaf, the Luxury Firm, King Size. And I've always loved this company because of the value. The product you get is astounding. Organic cotton made in the United States of America. And you can try the mattress for 90 days. If you don't like it, they'll uh, come and take it back. Just like that. Great in-home setup. Um, great customer service. And now we have a special offer. If you go to sattva.com slash the shit, you'll get $200 off your next Sattva purchase. That's right. Sattva.com slash the shit. Sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off your next Sattva purchase. Oh my God. I haven't even put these in correctly. I neither am I. I'm so excited. Yeah. We're just happy to be here. Yep. You're, you're just sitting here LOLing at a clip. LOLing. What's, I don't have my ear I don't, buds in. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. I love when you're, so just for those of you, a little, little insider tip here that, so Tom peruses these videos before the show and I don't get to see them in advance. So the first time I see them is when you get to see them. Yeah, I, I actually generally check out about about 80% of them. Oh, some, so some it could I don't be new watch. to you too. Like I try not to watch horrible, or hilarious, so that right. it's new to me. And um, like on the live shows, I never, I never watch more than a few thing. frames. Yeah. Of the heavy segment because I don't want to, you know, I can't. And then <laughs> that too. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I, I get you. I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, it is special though when a clip tickles your fancy and you can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. You know that's. That's why I love the talk so much because it's like a constant supply of crazy train all the time. It feeds my soul. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, just so people know, <clears throat> the um, if you missed the live show and the live show uh, uh, initial period, which was through the 28th, mm -hmm. pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully you enjoyed it with your over Thanksgiving with your family. Uh, it's grandma. It is now on the rentals page, which is ymhstudios.com slash rentals. There you can rent all of the past YMH lives. You can want, uh, rent the two bears lives that we've done. They're all there. ymhstudios.com slash rentals. Mm. And uh, you can then watch it there. So I hope you enjoy it. If you missed it, it was, a, it was a wild one. Man, I can't stop thinking about how much fun we had. There were yeah. so many great moments of that live. One, thank you to Joe Rogan for coming. Yeah. Unk Shine. Unk Shine. Um, but really, I think Chris Larson stole he really people's did. hearts. Everybody. And also- It was really good. I think Chris Larson's a new person. He's a different person uh, now. I'm telling you, since he moved to Texas- Yeah. Oh, this is why I need to tighten- He's been a lot happier. Yeah. Well, since Smiles. the live show, he's been a lot happier. A lot happier. There was a lot of time between 
his appearances on the live show that yeah. we don't know what was happening in there. That's true. Yeah. It looked like a lot of fun was happening. You know what, guys? Can someone more. tighten this, Mommy, before we move on? Five, four, three, two, three. Back in? I don't know. We stopped at two. <laughs> and he didn't do it in Hebrew, which he didn't do it in Hebrew. Yeah, that's a whole thing. We we it's in his contract now. I didn't realize that. I mean, yeah. I know that Nadav. I'm sorry, Patty is converted to Catholicism, but I didn't know that he's not allowed to even speak Hebrew. Who the hell would want to hear that here? It's a dead language now, Christina. Dead to you. It's dead to everybody here. Wow. Well, can he do it in Spanish or something? I don't like English. It's so boring. What? Well, a lot of Spanish people, Spanish speakers are Catholic, right? He can do a Spanish. He can do Spanish. Yeah. Practice in Spanish. Nadav, can we hear 54321, please? Ready in cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. That was horrible. But I mean, it was not bad. He did. I mean, he said the right words. He did say the right, but he, his accent's worse than your dad's. Yeah, but he'll get there. Yeah. He'll get there. It's a good start. It is a good start. It's good that um, he's not speaking that gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm excited for him to celebrate his first Christmas, too. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It's going to be, right, um, <laughs> Patty? Yeah. I mean, it's... What are the? Uh, I I just need to buy presents for everyone that I that I love and cherish, right? Yeah, yeah. and you need obviously a tree. You have a tree and put lights on it and put a star and then set up like a basically like a miniature version of mm. um, you know where like Christ was born the nativity the nativity scene, scene. Oh. and then you have like the like Mary and Joseph and then the three wise men and basically like a little nativity scene that you'll and baby Jesuska don't forget yeah of course Yezushka. baby Jezuska yeah. yeah there's there's two or three different things I need to set up. There's so There's many. There's a tree yeah. and a nativity scene. Of course. Yeah. On your lawn so that everybody knows that oh you're Christian. Well, I think you should do a public one and a private one. The private one you just keep in your room and like when you pass by it, you're thankful <laughs> of the life you have because of what baby Jesus did for you mm -hmm. and the sacrifices that he has made. And then in the public one is just let people know that you're on the right team, you know? Okay, so the so the tree's on the outside and the nativity scene. No, 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 no. no. The God. tree is inside your house. There's also a smaller nativity scene in your bedroom. Okay. And then there's a public nativity scene for the public in your front yard. And then you'll have like, you know, a wreath and lights and just like kind of the Christmas spirit outside your house. Oh, right. I got to put. Okay. So I got to take the mezuzah off my door oh. and replace it with a wreath. <laughs> Pry those yeah. things off. Throw them right in the yeah. trash. Yeah. Burn them please, if you can. Please. You need to have uh, cr crosses now. All over your house. Mm -hmm. All over. Yeah, well, every few. room. And then some Virgin Mary stuff would be cool to have too. Mm -hmm. Virgin Mary stuff. Oh, the 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 tall candles. Well, you know what? This might be a better <laughs> private conversation. But I definitely like your hat. It's a good hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Good job. I got a handful of hats here. I'll just be kind of switching them out <laughs> as we go. Yeah. You're doing Especially good. Especially here in Texas. You know, I never really thought about it, but you're right. The reason you display your Santa Claus, your Merry Christmas yeah. outside is to let the neighbors know, hey, I'm hey. cool. Yeah. We're all good here <laughs> yeah. on the same page. Yeah. 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 You know what I see, I'm hoping to see more of is some Santa stuff. <laughs> And some Second Amendment stuff together. Hey, you know? <laughs> and uh, you're gonna yeah. Let let's see Santa <laughs> with a rifle and a shotgun and maybe a nine millimeter in his waistband. And you let people know I'm Christian <laughs> and I believe in the right to bear arms. And I think that's a very Texas way of approaching things. I think you will be seeing those. Yeah, yeah. I remember in L.A. I mean, it was common for people to display their Hanukkah uh, stuff outside too. I don't think we're going to see that much here um, no no i don't think so either uh i should get to the opening clip I oh we haven't even done that no, God, you ready i watched for the it? dumbest fucking christmas movie yesterday we'll save it and yeah. we'll talk about it in a moment sure sure ready here you go uh -huh. 
you can go ahead and start having the FBI investigate the Denton County Sheriff's Office and the Denton Police Department of Texas. Oh. Because that's when I started noticing the sounds being broadcast or emitted. And yes, I am a certified Marine Marine, and I have been trained in listening post and listening for this shit. This shit is not going to make me fucking retarded. <laughs> Who is right? Yes. Don't bring anyone mother into this. <laughs> your mother is fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. <laughs> That's the clip I was laughing at. That was the best. Yeah. I didn't even finish it. Oh. I just started it. And I started laughing. I just started it. Yeah, he's a trained Marine Marine. Certified, which is usually what the Marines say. <laughs> That's what my father's always like. Oh, do you know I'm certified? Certified. And yes, I am a certified Marine. <laughs> a certified. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. You don't generally hear them use that phraseology. No, for it's Marines. almost like, um, yeah. You just say, I'm, I'm a Marine. Right? Yeah. His yeah. teeth are interesting too. What's going on on the gum line down here? Um, are those dentures? <laughs> no, I'm those are not dentures. I'm being genuinely curious here. Uh, that was part one. Would you like to see part two? Uh, I'd love to see it. Okay, hold on here. This guy's really cool. I know. But I like his energy. I like his fire. I like what he brings. He wants um he wants the FBI to investigate a police department. Something's being emitted from there. That's, oh. what, it, that's what it sounds like. Uh, here's part two. I didn't put that only, together. I only showed you part one. <laughs> You motherfuckers better catch these motherfuckers. Do you understand? Or everybody's gonna go against you because of using this fucking surveillance. You're killing babies. Man, dude, come on, dude. We're killing babies, Tom. Did you hear the roommate interrupt Yeah, him? I heard him. He's like, come on, dude. No, he was like, enough of this shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is exhausting. Yeah, he's Frank. You've been talking about this shit for, for weeks. For weeks now, maybe months. <laughs> There's smoke in the background. You see the smoke? So smoking. That come on, dude, was like, <laughs> it really was a one of exhaust. It was like a parent with their kid. <laughs> come like, on, dude. I said that this weekend yeah. 25 yeah, times yeah. where I was like, come on, yeah. guys. You're right. Yeah, dude, come on, dude. <laughs> You're absolutely Put it down. right. Stop fucking painting. C come Just on. Stop painting. When you call your children dude is when you know you're at your, yeah. your, your second to last notch of like, finally, God damn it. That's yeah. the next level. But dude, come on. That's actually uh, past anger. That's yes. you've given up. Yeah, come on, dude. Yeah, yeah. To to our oldest this weekend, I just like turned my back, and all of a sudden there's twenty paint things. I'm like, "Where'd you get all this paint?" He's like, "Downstairs." I'm like, all right. And he starts painting. I'm like, "No, you're getting fucking paint everywhere." Yeah. He's like, "I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no I'll do better." Either. And then I'm like, "All right." And then the paint, cause still go. I go. You're still fucking painting where he goes. I'll keep trying. <laughs> yeah, he figured out the and I'm then, sorry dude. yeah and then he's like takes a toy and starts painting a toy I go this is enough this is enough we're not doing this and he's like he's like no 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 I go no 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 you no 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 <laughs> he's like he's like all right and then he was like all right all right like I did fuck up a lot of shit here I, I give you that. <laughs> he is a maniac so I bought them these stickers you wall decals you put on the walls oh my God. of the planets and they glow in the dark and they're stars yeah and so we did it before i left town in the kids room on their walls yeah and then i come home he's ripped them off and they're like on the they're ceilings. on the ceilings they're on the ceilings i don't know how we even got them he's there. five years old he's like check that out. i go how the fuck <laughs> you get there he's like just figured it out i'm like what yeah. he, i'm like do you fly he's like yeah I'm yeah. like, don't climb on furniture, I'm dude. Like, dude, they're all over the ceiling here. How are you doing this? And he was like, just put it up there. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? He's amazing. Yeah. That kid's fine. Like, I have a feeling, like, if something happened to us tomorrow, God forbid, yeah. 
and he was alone for like 24 hours with his brother, they he would survive. They oh, would I know. Survive. He would, yeah, he would yeah. find a way to eat. Yeah. And survive. He would have eaten like Nutella sandwiches and just live. He jumped off a five and a half foot platform where I was like, <laughs> <gasps> and he landed and then he was just like, doom, doom, doom. And yeah. there was a, a stranger who goes, who saw it with me because I was like, oh my God. And he goes, I would need an EMT <laughs> if I just did that. And I was like, yeah, I've had one. <laughs> See, I didn't jump that far and I fucking needed one. Yeah. And Crazy. he doesn't, he does it all the time. He, they never get in and out of their chairs properly. Yeah. They'll climb in on the side and then jump off the chair and he does it every day and every, uh, you're going to break your ankle. Nope. Fine. Nope. Not yet. Mm-mm. Fuck. Um, I got this thing that you, because we were talking about the live. Yes. Uh, that you, ha- you got the, oh yeah. You snapped some stuff of Rogan. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So funny. Here was a uh, Rogan watching um, <laughs> poutine, Norm Summerton's poutine. <laughs> That's a lot of piss, too. How about his fucking tattoos? They're insane. Like, where are you? What are you doing? He was a mortgage broker for years. <laughs> was he? Yeah. Did they find this and got fired? No, I think every time. Oh, he's going to shit on it. I don't know. <laughs> I sure hope he's. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> It was the best sitting across from him because I got to see his it faces. It is so wild. He makes the best reaction. He has the best reaction. When, uh, French Canadian poutine, poutine. fries. Uh, when you, you're, we're so accustomed to Norm's poutine. <laughs> and that when someone's seeing it for the first time, you got to take yourself back to seeing it for the first yeah. time. You're like, oh, uh, no. <laughs> and keep in mind, this is the man that, you know, watches MMA fights yeah. weekly. He hosted weekly. Fear Factor. Yeah. So yeah. it's hard to gross Joe Rogan out. Yeah. I, I, you know, I miss Norm. I love him so much. We actually have an update. What? Yeah. Is he back in the game? Do you want to see the update? I love to see the update. I didn't think update. we were going to do it right God here. God damn it, Norm. This is a real update. Okay. So a fan sent this in. Oh my God. Uh, she met Norm last <gasps> spring, went for beers with him a couple weeks later and uh he said she's he's such a generous soul and is oh. such a nice man i believe it you ready yeah hey you big to the animal show them to me oh, i can't yes you can all right well just wiggle them <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh, he's so sweet. He's yeah. so happy. I like that he goes out in public with the dog collar too. I I thought that he might temper that. Yeah, but he does. Now he's got the full. He's got the gear on. It looks mm-hmm. like a woman's shirt too, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I really like that. Oh, I really. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what Garth was thinking of when he that said that? That fucking psycho. I just saw some shit he posted. He's a, he's in he was in Ireland I guess doing these press conferences. It's just the fucking it is so like Bundy esque. You know? mm, what what was he doing? Just holding court. Talk, just oh like you you have a moment and you just hold it I, and like I, all I. this shit. And he starts crying again and wow. I just I don't buy any of it. What did he say? Remember that line he's about Trisha? Oh yeah. It, about yeah. he wants to explore every every foot of ireland oh boy won't be able to this time he's gonna do my shows but yeah I'd love to. <laughs> i want to see every square foot of this oh, place oh yeah i bet i'm sure you do no you don't you're a fucking liar yeah people really buy into that shit that emotional they really do there's no way he can be that emotional all the time i don't buy it at all it is the holiday season. It's always a tough thing to figure out what to get people, right? You don't know. You're, everybody has different preferences, but you know what covers people that get them going? They're going to be happy no matter what is the apparel and the socks from Stance because they have things from like so many different, look, they cover, they got stuff from Batman, Harry Potter, The Goonies, Star Wars, Wu-Tang, Disney, Barbie, Bob Marley, the NBA, Pixar. It's like whatever somebody's into, 
you're probably going to be able to find something over at Stance, and it's going to be high quality, soft products that feel so good. You feel the value in them, and they have the coolest designs, and it's covering all these different spaces. You're going to win when you go to Stance. Stance has the perfect gift for every punk and poet on your list. Go see for yourself. It's easy. Just go to stance.com and pick some styles out you think you might like. Enjoy the color and comfort of a life less ordinary with Stance. We all know how hard it is to make something out of nothing. Just the thought of turning that big idea into reality can feel overwhelming. How do you even get started? I don't know how to do a, a logo design for my business. I don't know how to do this and that. Well, introducing Fiverr. I love Fiverr because when I need some help getting things done, I know they will connect me with a qualified person. With Fiverr, turning that idea into something is easier than ever. Millions of freelancers across the globe help clients turn ideas into successful realities every day. Experts in data, design, marketing technology, website building, music, video animation, and so much more are ready to help. Yeah, Listen, you have to admit, you can't do everything, but you can find the right person on Fiverr to do it for you. Every successful something was once nothing. Head to Fiverr.com and turn nothing into something today. Receive 10% off your first order by using code MOM at F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Again, that's Fiverr.com, code MOM. Um, uh, here's another clip of maybe yours. he is such an emo guy. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Is he just, listen, here's the deal, man. I watched this movie, The Holiday. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of this dog shit? No. Okay. Everybody's saying this is the movie to watch. Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet. New June or old? Law. It's an old movie. Okay. But And Jack Black. And it's making a resurgence. It's a, I love Christmas movies. Yeah. And it was the dumbest fucking thing I'd ever seen. It was worse than like a Hallmark movie. Like the dialogue. Like you know why actors get paid so much now? Mm. Because they can sell this shitty dog shit dialogue like at one point jude law was like making his speech to cameron diaz like and i i love you and i hope that's enough and then she would be like oh, oh, i i didn't think that you would say that i love you like it, the dialogue was yeah. written by a third grader sure. and like as if first of all jack black is gonna get kate winslet what are you talking about that made me nuts He's not, dude, yeah. Cameron gets Jude and beautiful Kate gets Jack Black. <laughs> that alone infuriated me. Really? She had Leonardo DiCaprio in yeah. Titanic. Willing to drown. Yeah. Yeah. And now they put her with this guy? Yeah. As much as I think, I love Jack Black. Don't now, get Jude me wrong. Jude can get it though. Jude is stunning. Yeah. Especially, I mean, look Honestly, at Honestly, to be like, I, I don't, I don't want to put you off. But I I do gay shit with Jude Law. Right? Anybody would do gay shit with. He's perfect. I mean, uh, here's how it would go. <laughs> He'd be like, "Hey, do you want to, um, you know, fuck around?" I'd be like, "Hey, I'm not gay." Yeah. And then he'd be like, "So do you want to?" I'd be like, "All right." Like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then what would you let him do? Butt fuck? Well, I don't know. Whatever he says, I guess. I don't think he'd butt fuck you. I think he would play with your booty like Unkshine. Yeah. And you guys Maybe. would French and like jerk off together, but I don't think yeah. he would butt fuck you. He I'd probably, I think I'd leave there being like, that was pretty, like, I don't feel gay. Yeah. I feel like a. Well, it's, <laughs> it's. <laughs> I, I feel, I feel good. I feel good right now. Well, that's the thing, as we learned from Dr. Joe Court, is that guys who masturbate together and stuff, they're not gay, but they want to admire each other's loads. What a big yeah. load you have. That's, so, what, that's what I think we would do. He'd be like, that's a lot of cum, Tom. And I'd be like, thanks, Jude Law. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the reason I brought up this stupid fucking dumb movie is that in his character cries a lot and then Cameron Diaz can't cry. So that's their juxtaposition uh, of stupid character traits. Okay. And by the way, Cameron Diaz is stunning as she, well. You know that she's like fully retired from Fully showbiz. retarded? I thought you were going to say that she's no, fully- retired. She's fully retarded? Really? She's just done with it. Good for her. Well, I'm sure she's made enough money. It's been a while. She's definitely made a lot of money. I'm just saying that, like, when was the last time you saw Cameron Diaz in a you movie? You know, I, I, not in a film, but I saw her on a flight to JFK at f six in the morning. Mm -hmm. And she looked perfect. I mean, she came on the plane to JFK wearing the red lip, the full makeup. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's stunning. This is no joke. Look, when these people tell you. Oh, there. See, look at that first thing underneath. Cameron Diaz explains to Kevin Hart why she oh, left acting. Well, let's see. The, uh, I mean, it's a hard, I'm sure 
she did she adopt kids or something? Probably she became a mom. I don't know. I'm sure it says something there. Uh, I met my husband. We started a family. All the yeah. things I didn't have time for before. Actually, not just have the time for, but didn't have the space to make the right decisions for me at the time to bring that in. Yeah. She married the good mm-hmm. Charlotte lead. Uh, what is it? Singer or guitarist or something? Benji Madden. Uh, lead guitarist. Okay. Announced that Aww. she had tied the knot or, or she had retired from acting. Uh, her final movie was in 2014. Oh, wow. Yeah. So the that's coming up on Annie. coming up on eight years. Yeah, I mean, she's had a great run. and, and I know, but it's always gosh. interesting to, to see somebody step away. It's almost like there's sometimes there's this thing in professional sports where an athlete can retire. It's very hard to do at the height of their like talent and, and their ability, their peak performance, or they wait for your decline because they want to keep playing, you know? Mm. So like there's it's like a big deal when they go, while I'm still the best, I step away. Well, what's and, the move? You know, do you? I don't know. I mean, like the, in stand up, like stand up's a really interesting one because there's absolutely a window yeah. where your star is rising, if you want to say it, or like you're in demand. And then, you know, you go down, but also stand up's this thing where like you don't want to stop doing stand up. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you see these stand ups that age, they still love getting on stage. Oh, and telling Milton jokes. Burl was performing George Burns. in his 90s, Burns, Phyllis Diller. And it yeah. keeps you young. It keeps you. It quick. does. I yeah. think it's good for you. Um, but like, there is a thing where you go, like, oh, I could dial this down. Yeah. I mean, like for instance, the way we tour, like I couldn't tour like this, the way I tour. Oh, now. And I hope it, you don't. You'll die. For sure. But also, I wouldn't be. I mean, I just, you know, it's impossible. But the demand decreases age. for demand, the act, yes. and then you kind of you, you your diehards come with you over the years. Yeah. You know, maybe you don't get those younger generation. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you do. I don't know. We'll. we'll I'm not sure how it goes. Also, there's there's like ups and downs. Like you, you could then like have some project, something these days online, but like a movie, something that like reignites the demand for you and then you yeah. go you're doing big things again that's but true i think you just want to be able to keep doing stand-up i love it yeah movies and stuff is a different commitment acting you know well plus this listen and also too when you're a woman i think in hollywood yeah you know you start a lot of people don't realize this but if you look at somebody like christina ricci and all these famous actresses they start at two yeah okay so you, you start acting in a commercial at two years old and then by the time you're 13 you've already been a child star or whatever now you have yeah. to transition into being an adult act not adult actor but an, a, a yeah. grown-up actress or whatever and now you have to be on the cover of some maxim magazine to show that you're now fuckable yeah and then that window happens it's like this constant re- reinventing of oneself but really you age out of show business by 30 what 30 35 for an actress yeah you're dead so the hot yeah, one especially the hot one. if That's you're tough. yeah you're, being the hot girl you're beautiful the hot chick and Cameron Diaz was the hot girl for oh yeah she had such a good run she's she's perfect I mean even in this garbage movie the holiday yeah you look at this face on her and I was like oh she's just stunning yeah beautiful blue eyes and she's just bubbly and yeah she's a beautiful woman yeah yeah so that's funny so you 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 chose Jude Law over Cameron Diaz I think in this in this scenario yes who would you rather get filled up and sealed shut by Cameron Diaz or Jude Law yeah I'm gonna go Jude Law wow yeah Wow, he is perfect looking. Now here's the thing, both of perfect. them, he is, right? God. Both of them, here's the thing about both of them, Ugh. okay? They both are stars. They're both really good looking. I don't know if they're both giving lovers. Oh, that's a good point. I think they both might be like, what are you gonna do for me? Oh, for Jude Law, for sure. Oh yeah, he's been Ragdolling chicks for. Not just ragdolling, but also they're like, what do you need? You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. he's never like, oh, I've got to make sure I please you. No, you he's know? getting his dick sucked through the fence. Yeah. Like he just shows up. Touch my dick through the fence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Suck my dick through the mm-hmm. fence, which is even harder than touch my dick through the fence. So the point is, Jew Law, when he's on set, do you think that girls just are waiting in the trailer? Like, oh, you took a shit. Can I like your butt clean? Like, oh, you, can I, can I just... I mean, the women. I don't think a lot of people want to lick his butt clean if he's shit, but um, I do think that he has an endless, endless supply. option supply. Yeah, because women do pretty naturally. Like, if you're an attractive woman, you can get laid anytime. But it's weird yeah. for a man to. It's like a superpower Definitely. that's not natural. It's not natural, and it gets way more attention. Yeah, I mean, 
if you uh like i've had i've hung out with you know really good looking men before like a good looking guy yeah. you see the way women look at them you're like oh that's, that's not other level yeah can you look normal. up jude law's wikipedia was he ever married i'm yeah. curious oh yeah yeah she better be like then he uh he banged a nanny her. and then they you don't remember that i think that i thought that was hugh grant no it was jude law. hugh grant did a hooker see he's yeah. not as pretty anymore that's right. a rougher shot he aged go to personal life <laughs> he has six children six Make children that bigger o m okay jeans so We don't want to look at his activism. We want to look at his personal okay. life. Law met actress Sadie Frost while working on a shot. The two married in September of 97, divorced in 2003. They have three children. Rafferty, Rudy, Alfie, Losar. Oh, Sienna Miller began a relationship. Oh, so that's a model. Girl. Sienna Miller is a right. famous model. Yeah. Get, uh, on fifth, uh, public apology for having an affair with the children's nanny. Oh. Miller-in-law ended their relationship in November of 2006. He was in a brief relationship with a model named Samantha Burke. Model. Good. Uh, his fifth child, a girl, was born to Catherine Harding. She Jesus. married his girlfriend, Philippa Cohen, on May 19th. Jesus. <laughs> September Law announced the birth of the couple's first child together. Oh it was also his sixth. <gasps> oh, my God. Since 2005, he has represented Dunhill, Asia. God damn. Damn. Dude, will you do another search? Jude Law net worth, because that's just got to <laughs> be going well, that's, all over the place. He's got how many baby mamas now? How many baby four, mamas? Right? The four, four baby yeah. mamas. That is yeah. a drain on your finances, my man. Yeah, he's got some money. <gasps> yeah. 45 million. Damn. Yeah. Well, he works a lot. Well, he's got to. Yeah. I think oh, every yeah. time he gets an offer, he's like, do you fucking understand who this is going to? <laughs> I have six children. Yeah. Yeah, but you have to want six children. Uh, or you want six young girlfriends. I don't know if you want, because the younger girls want children. Yeah. So if you want that 20 year old hot think because if you look at his list yeah. it's all the it girls of that year it's like who sienna miller was like the hot girl in 2004 yeah and then what other know, model so the models are 20 years old yeah Ooh. i mean she's a smoke show the next he one fucked just a nanny while he was with her yo what yeah that's because that that dick's just heating up yeah. he can't <laughs> cooking. he's too hot cooking man. in he those pants two, yeah. especially in 04 this is before the hairline starts receding. Mm -hmm. Like this is peak Jew Law 04. You know? Peak. Oh, yeah. oh, look at him. The hair is stunning. He is impeccable. He's so handsome. Oh, that's the nanny there on the stairs. No. Oh, yeah. they got a blonde cute. Oh, that's right why. Yeah. Why do you Are think? Are you going to click it? <laughs> and then zoom in so we can see her. <laughs> that's her on the stairs. She looks like a 12 year old. Oh, no, that's a kid. That's a little boy. That's probably his son. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I mean, what's the appeal? Do you think she worshipped him the way that he's accustomed to be worshipped? Maybe. Was it doting? Maybe is doting. And you know what it probably was? What? She was there. You know what I mean? Availability. Yeah. Uh, he's like, this dick's all hot right now. And there's nobody here except for these stupid kids. Like, can I tell you something though? Yeah. Getting hard around your kids is so unfathomable, unfathomable. Just listen to where I'm going. Like, okay. just like, don't kids zap you of any sexual energy? Like by the end of the yeah. day, I'm like, oh yeah. my fucking God, I just want my vagina to seal itself shut. Like I don't want. Yeah. So like, you gotta be pretty juiced up. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Who knows what the actual real story is? I mean, I'm still just kind of like reeling from the fact that he has six kids. Yo. I, th I thought that was a, like you misread something. Well, he better make 45 million. He's got to pay off all these bitches. That's a lot of women and baby mama money. That's a lot. Let me tell you something. That's what ruins men's wealth. Yeah. If you, I was talking to some financial advisor on an airplane and we were talking about what ruins people's wealth. And he's like, it's baby mama divorce. Mm -hmm. Divorce is the first one. Yeah. Men get, you get clean out. So you yeah. and I cannot split. If you want to keep your money, bro. <laughs> this, this is your sales pitch? This is my sales pitch on a staying married forever, okay? <laughs> but divorce and then like baby mama drama. Like doing that shit over and over. You know what sucks for me too? And then crying, I had a vasectomy. Yeah. So I meet this fucking girlfriend. Uh, I get my girlfriend. She's like, I want a baby. I got to have a fucking reverse vasectomy. Mm -hmm. 
Why do you think I made you do it, huh? Make it a little difficult for you. Uh, get that second wife pregnant. Don't you fucking dare. Oh my God, if you have children with your second wife, I will murder your Why? children. Why? Why would you care? Because I don't, I want my children to know that they're special to you, that you're not just pumping out kids, you know what I mean? Why are they not special to me? You can't, you can't have, you can't. What are you talking about? You can't have more children. It's like, it's like when the lion comes in and then murders the offspring of the lioness that existed prior. Yeah. It's because it's dominance. Those are my seeds in the world. You may not create more. I forbid it. But you already cleaned me out. Good. I don't want you to reverse it. No, no. You already cleaned me out when we divorced. Oh, so what? I still don't. I want my you, children. You can't to make special. demands. I can after do that. that. It's going to be part of our exit whatever document what kind of shit are you talking about i don't ever want you to be happy again can that be in there too that are you miserable forever that i'm miserable forever yeah i don't want you to be happy with someone else after me <laughs> i want you just to be alone and sad <laughs> well it's true why because that's right that's, that's not right. right it is right because i make you so okay like last night I came in a living, remember? And you were just sitting there and you're yeah. so sweet. You're eating a snack and you were looking at our beautiful Christmas tree. Yeah. And I said to you, isn't that nice that your wife puts up Christmas trees and makes things nice for you and buys nice snacks and stuff? Because otherwise you would just be sleeping on your floor on your mattress, right? And I make things nicer for you. Yeah. Otherwise you'd just be a stinky old bear living in a dirty cave. Isn't that nice? That's nice. <laughs> you don't but, think my next girlfriend's gonna be? No, there is no next girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. There is no next girlfriend. Just me. I'm the one that gives you joy and love. I make you happy. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't want me to be happy though, would you? If we did. Uh yeah, I would. I would. What about if you died suddenly? I mean, I would, I would want you to be happy. Of course I want you to be happy. With another man. Look, it's not that you go like, oh, gosh, I can't wait for you to be with another man. But you're saying like, do I wish you were happy with somebody? Yeah, of course. Is there anything that you would absolutely hate? Like if you die and you look down from heaven and you're like, she's with fucking that? Yeah, somebody not white probably. <laughs> that <would> be like. <laughs> not Christian, eh? Um. No, I can't think of I can't think of something. What would I mean, infuriate you? What would infuriate me? You're like this fucking dandy. No, a dandy. I guess so, you know there is this thing where like as a man you're like oh there's another man. Yeah. Uh, no, no, in like living off of my income, your wealth. Yeah. Coming to my house. Yeah. Picking up my remote control. Like some guy being like, man, eh, whatever, because like they didn't work for it, so they don't yeah. treat it the same way. You know. So that part's kind of, but you can't do anything about it. I mean, like, okay, what if it's just like my personal trainer? And he's like a hot twenty something, but he doesn't he doesn't know the come up. He's not. That's what I'm saying, right? So that would that anger you? Well, it's not that, but it's it, it's like it's more just like you roll your eyes at it. Like I, I'm not like like furious. You're just like this guy just basically want a scratch off. So he's just like, oh, yeah. I got all this stuff now. <laughs> you know, like he didn't actually. I'd mean. actually prefer that you uh, were with somebody who was successful. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I don't think I could be with a man who wasn't driven yeah. to to be great at anything. It's, yeah. it's not even about what they do. It's just that yeah. they enjoy what they do and they're very driven. And yeah, yeah there's a purpose to their lives and meaning. meaning you know? or I come visit you at the house and then he walks out of the He's like, oh, hey, what's up, man? And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Nobody would really make you, Arr, though. I, mean, I can't think of the person that would infuriate me. I'm trying to think. Um trying to think not an ex an ex <laughs> no Look at that. you see that he's like <laughs> all your pussy boyfriends in the past <laughs> you think those candy asses threaten me no. is that that's the impression that i get this episode of your mom's house is brought to you by policy genius get your property cold weather ready by making sure you have the right insurance coverage this is grown-up stuff guys you got to be an adult and listen Policy Genius can help you find home and auto coverage similar to what you have now, but at a lower price. What's better than that? It's never a bad time to find ways to bundle your home and auto insurance and save with Policy Genius. Are your home and auto policies up for renewal? Let Policy Genius look for a lower rate 
for you. Head over to policygenius.com, answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property, and Policy Genius will show you estimates for policies that fit your search and help you understand your options. Policy Genius has saved customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. Head to policygenius.com to get your free home and auto insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com. Oh my God. Give the gift of tushy this holiday season. Do you have an eco-conscious cousin, a neat freak sister, a farty dad, basically anybody in your life who poops, get them a tushy. Seriously, Tommy and I have been using... You just, I mean, you just feel... Like, what was I doing before? Yeah, you can't go back. You're such an animal, a pig, <laughs> before you have one of these. True. Smashing that that chocolate all over your body. I know. And you just have this fire hose that cleans you out. You actually feel really clean. And I know some of you are like, I don't, I don't, I can't do this. I live in an apartment. I rent. Well, listen, you don't need an electrician or a plumber. You don't have to drill holes or put in a power outlet to get your tushy. It installs in less than eight minutes. And look, if you are eco-conscious or whatever, you cuts down your toilet paper use by 80%. Come on. Give the gift of a clean bum to yourself or your loved ones this holiday season and get 10% off plus free shipping right now at hellotushy.com slash your mom. That's hellotushy.com slash your mom for 10% off and free shipping. Already in Cinco, Quattro, Trez, Dose, and you know we're on you and we're back had a quick break there christina had to take a huge shit but now we're back <laughs> it was um, so big yeah uh so before we move on just to yeah. i wanted to set something up here you're single you have an option okay. you can remarry oh god brad pitt right uh ryan gosling who you always love yeah talk about or just to kind of give you a full spectrum of options Burt Kreischer. Now, oh, let me tell you something. Jesus. No. Well, here's the thing. Burt and Ryan, I think they get, they're pretty demanding. You know, they're like. Burt and Ryan. I'm sorry, sorry. Brad. Oh, Pitt God. And, and Ryan. I mean, think about what's given to them and thrown at them all the time. I don't know if I can handle that. Yeah, yeah it's a lot. It's a lot, right? So. Yeah, right? This fucking guy. So here's the thing, though. Bert, happy to be there, but also you and him, very similar personalities. No. <laughs> what are you talking? I'm... Well, I just made a discovery that I didn't know about. What? That you guys are the same person. What? According to the guy, according to the guys who know you the best here. Oh, stop. Nadav and Annie were like, you know, they're like exactly the same, right? <laughs> Babe, no. And then, um, and he was like, "You don't think that like you married like the same person twice?" <laughs> and I was like, "I've never thought of this." What are you talking? For? A, I'm not an alcoholic. Well, hey, hey, Jesus! You don't have to fucking go there right away. Oh. Although you are enjoying a coffee right now. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. B, it's got some Bailey's in it. Yeah. B. Yeah. I mean, these guys say that, I was like, what are you talking about? And they're like, yeah, oh, they have the same energy, the same person. <laughs> Not like, <laughs> oh, obviously no. he's louder. He's like a loud, I don't, I don't think they mean like the volume of your voices, but they think like you're who you guys are at your core, yes. very similar. And I'm like, wow, this is a revelation. Yeah. What, uh, well, uh, let's talk about that more. So what? what is it that I would like them see? to weigh in. Yeah, I that's don't what know. I mean. I, I, I'm curious. So like, what's the core? You know, that you see the similarities in. So there's, you know, there's a couple of things that definitely bring it into account. It's <laughs> <laughs> team Jesus. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of things that bring it into account. I think I noticed it more on the episode of Two Bears, Christina, where you filled in and you were with Bert. Yeah. Or maybe he was on where my mom's at. Yeah. But it was just like a. For the most part, it's like, oh, here's my partner. Like, oh, that's interesting. I'll take it back. But when you guys are together, it's just like, yes, and, yes, and, <laughs> yes, and, yes, and. You want to drink before noon? Let's get it going. But like, you are, you guys just don't know how to say no to fun, you know? 
Well, that, okay, that's a, well, that's a nice way to put but, it. But I will say, Christina, you are better at it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't let it ruin your day if it's like mimosas. At Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah, on a second. That's true. Wait a second. I'm not distracted. Uh, Patty. Yes, yes, yes. That's Look at me. me. Uh-huh. I'm not self-destructive. You trying to say I'm not fun? I think you're very fun. Uh, I, you know, it's, you're, you're, you're very, you're very fun. You're very fun. You know what? You know what it is? You have a really good fun beacon. You know how to find fun. Hey, that's a good way of putting it. I and like you have that. found fun in two and two very close people to you, Christina and Bert. Oh. They are both very fun and you have found So I like it. to like surround myself with, with fun. fun people. You are, you are the finder of fun champ. <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's but, a, but, but that's such a diplomatic way of putting that <laughs> yeah. yeah but then then you must like bert and myself you you're attracted to us both i mean clearly clearly i i was like i mean like he said i was like who are two fun people i can be around all the time it's not true yeah i mean i think there's a there's a, a, a great truth to that i think yeah well i do relate to bert um his insecurities i share a lot of a lot of people don't know that about Bert, but when he is very vulnerable, it's very touching how vulnerable that guy can be at some time. Yeah. Seriously, no joke. Yeah, that's the part of him I I grab I get. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. I, I'm day drinking. Shades. It's Margaritaville. If we're talking about Bert. I had to stop and get a drink. So, do you see the similarity between you and Bert? Yeah, I do. You do. I do. I what, like your. Is it like because he does this thing where <laughs> I have to say I kind of admire this about the two of you, and it's going to sound very insulting. Mm-hmm. Great. <laughs> that's you know. By the way, that's the best way to start a compliment. Is this is going to sound horrible? It's not. <laughs> this is really a nice thing I'm about to do. God damn you. No, because I think it actually. Yeah. If I may be vulnerable, sure. I think it speaks to my insecurities and my own uh, being very self-conscious in that I am more apprehensive to say something that might make me look stupid. Right, right. And the two of you don't have that. <laughs> We're daring to be stupid <laughs> yeah, is what yeah. you're saying. You're both like, yeah. I don't give a fuck how stupid I look. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, dare to be stupid. Now, he, I, I'll say this. Yeah. He is a 10th degree black belt in that. <laughs> I'm JV. You're, you're getting there. Yeah. But he is really a master. He's, but can I tell you? I'll tell but you I, why. I, here's the truth. As, yeah. as funny as a jokey as that sounds, it is a quality that I admire. He'll just say, he'll say, and it doesn't matter if it's one-on-one, if it's in front of people, he'll say when he doesn't know it, he'll say the dumbest thing. He'll throw out ridiculous ideas, but it's, a, it's, ad, I actually look, I like it. And, yeah. and you have that too, where you'll be like, I don't know. What about this? And sometimes I'm like, what are mm-hmm. you talking about? But I, I like that you guys aren't like, so in your head about how you'll sound saying that. Right. No, I know. And I think for years I was. I was really trying to be the smartest guy in the room for so many years. I mean, you know me and my yeah, books and yeah. I read philosophy and I'm the smartest. And then um, and then I got tired of trying to be the smartest guy in yeah. the room. And I'm like, I'm not the smartest guy yeah. in the room. And I may as well just, um, I'm 45 too. Yeah. I'm like halfway to dead. So I'm like, what do I, I don't give a fuck what anybody well, cares about. Here's the about. truth. You're yeah. past halfway. Pa- that's right. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't care. And I think too, um, yeah, being middle-aged and having two kids and also what we went through a pandemic and like life is really fucking fragile. It is. And you, so you're saying that you don't care. And he just came out as fat recently. Oh my (laughs) That's the best thing I've ever heard. Yeah. He, did he do it already? Well, I I don't know if it's been announced, but basically, yeah, he's, um, he's embracing, uh, his, <laughs> his body and what he wants to eat and drink. Oh, good for him. Yeah. So he's just going to go for it. Oh, he's been, he's not going to go for it. He's been going for it. <laughs> he's gone for it. He's gone for it. Yeah. He's gone, gone. So he's not even going to try to rein it in. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So, okay. Nope. Cool. How does Leanne feel about? I think she's definitely given up on that. Yeah. That is something where she's like, I am done. Wow. If you bring up if you bring up any of his like impulses and things, and she's like, "Yep, yeah, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we all we know how that works, don't we? And like so, like you can't like you can't alarm her and be like, I think you should go to see a doctor. She's like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you want to set that appointment? You want to do it, or you want me to, like? That's true. She's just given up. Oh well, it's like yeah. twenty years of that guy. Yeah, oh, man. Gotta wear you down. Well, I do love him so. He's much, the best. Too. Yeah. I know. Yeah, he's he is a a sweet marshmallow core. I mean, I I do wish he'd listen to you more on your podcast, though. <laughs> you've been listening. You sometimes tried, you checked it out. <laughs> well, because I think you have interesting stuff to say sometimes, and it... not according to him. No. <laughs> I sometimes wonder what that like, what his POV is on what he and I do on that. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like. Is he like, oh, that's that thing where I go and I just talk. <laughs> <laughs> he actually gave me a, a compliment. He goes, that Tom Talks podcast you have, it's really cool. I was like, you think so? He goes, yeah, I like to hear you think and like talk about things. I was like, you could do that. You could listen. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. No. He no, doesn't. he doesn't. Not well, not as much. Do, do I listen to you a bit? Oh, much more. Yeah. Like if you listen to this podcast and that podcast, People think that there are comp- like that I have a completely different persona where it's really just one of them lets me talk sometimes, <laughs> and then the other one sometimes. Yeah, because I, I think I think Bert and I both get excited about our stupid ideas, and then like there's no stopping the train. Yeah. Once I'm excited, I'm going to talk about it. Yeah, and I like this look. Say yeah, you too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much easier. It's it's freeing. It's like it's nighttime. It's not. That is what it's like. Isn't it's it? nighttime in your own face. Yeah. yeah. Sunglasses indoors on a uh, on a fucking like in a store or something <laughs> is such a wild thing to see. Like when you see somebody walking around, I know. And like you have shades on, huh? Yeah. And you know they're not blind. You know? <laughs> well, I've um, in a bar or something. Like, I do. Doing, I do wear these inside airports, and these uh, are on the cusp of being too dark. Like they're they're are they? Can you see my eyes through these? Yeah, a little bit. A, a little? little bit. Not. No. Not really. Not really. Yeah. Well, I want to buy those. Um, those like seventies kind where you can see through. They just give a little bit of darkness. I want the what are they called the trans? Are they transitioners? Like a transitional yeah. person? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> transitional. Don't they? Do they go like they lighten up and then they yeah. dark? Yeah, you can get that. I think that's a prescription. No? Transition lenses. Yeah, is that that requires a subscription? You Those are Zimzer lenses. Yeah, <laughs> transition. Depending on your. Um... Do you know what'll make you laugh? By the way, do you want to laugh? <laughs> I like to laugh. I like to laugh. Let's make some videos. <laughs> Show me your boobs. Well, he my ass. It's a famous no NASCAR driver. I mean, where was he going? What was he going to do? Spin me out? He was trying to do a Harvick is what he was trying to do. For what? For second place? To do what? He wasn't going to transfer through with that. He's freaking retarded, man. He's so <laughs> stupid. I, I don't understand these guys. I should beat the shit out of him right now, so I should do. But that doesn't do me any good either. This is I why... I laugh. Yeah. If this was the interview every nascar driver gave i would watch nascar it kind of is oh no shit well i got i mean they're just it. fucking rednecks you know? i like that then i mean it's funny because you think of talladega nights Will yeah Ferrell, it's my favorite movie and like they make a joke about sponsors and yeah. shit and look how preposterous There's this man looks <laughs> m&m's i mean m&m 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 toyota snickers, snickers good year sports clips and they're they're buying the real estate on every available <laughs> inch of what he's wearing this guy's like a top tier driver he is oh yeah dude i love him yeah What's, kyle bush well he's he's got a fan in me yeah dude yeah. see this is how i want people to talk all the it's time it's great i wish all the athletes did freaking retarded man. <laughs> yeah. and he's like i should have kicked his ass yeah he should have beat the shit out of him that's what i'm talking yeah. about yeah yeah i should beat the shit out of him right now so i should do <laughs> God, that movie's so fucking funny. And I like in NASCAR, the by the way, this doesn't even make, like this doesn't make the, the news, you know? Right, like they don't go canceling Kyle yeah. Bush. But yeah. if like, if Patrick <laughs> Mahomes, like in the NFL, if he was like, a fucking retard tried to <laughs> break my knee, I should beat the fucking shit out of him. Like the NFL, ESPN, they would be like, oh my God. <laughs> I they know. Would, yeah. well, why? What is the disparity? Why can he get away with it? Because it's rednecks. Oh, sweet. They don't give a fuck about shit. <laughs> They're rednecks. Like, if they put this on ESPN, like, guess what this NASCAR driver did? All like, the NASCAR oh. fans be like, woo, that's what see, I'm talking about. See, that's why there's safety. Go safe- fuck that dude up, man. Yeah, that's why there's safety in being a Bert. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, nobody's going to hold him accountable for what he says or this guy, because you're like, he's they're fucking crazy. It's great. Yeah. yeah. 
there's power in being uh, dumb. There is power. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> the dumber I am. You should be like, well, she's a dumb blonde, dumb broad. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm stupid. The fuck do I know? It's because I'm fucking stupid. I got, I got, I just got something. <laughs> oh my God. You just named your new special. Dumb broad? No, there's power in being dumb. <laughs> Or the power of dumb. The power of dumb. Yeah. yeah, I'm writing that down right now. Yeah. The power, like the power of now. Like yeah. The power of dumb. Yeah. I like dare to be stupid. Dare to be stupid. <laughs> dumb fucking broad. Dumb fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb fucking broad. Yeah. And then I'm gonna come back. Tomorrow. What if you named it "Women Are Stupid"? <laughs> oh my god, that would be the best. <laughs> How mad would Hannah Gatsby be at that? <laughs> It is such a, you know, your title, <laughs> you know, your title alone would get millions of more people. I know. To click it. And millions. I, I know. And like Women nothing. are stupid. People be like, fuck yeah, they are. Or, you know, no one would know what they're about to see. <laughs> They'd be so disappointed when I don't address that thought yeah. ever. Like, What's this title about? You're like, I don't know. I just want you to click it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's so true. Women are fucking stupid. Women are fucking stupid, man. I just have to write one joke. About women being dumb? I mean, barely. Barely? Yeah. No, you don't even have to. It's, it's, it's the kind of thing where it's like the title speaks like it is. It, you're like, I'm a woman. Therefore, watch this and you go, oh, <laughs> you're not? Or, yeah, you are. You're like, yeah, either way. I, I served you on this title. Do you think I could really sell Netflix on that? 100%. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm a woman. What I say goes. Stop mansplaining. And I pull that card. Absolutely. Now, you couldn't say it about another. You couldn't be like Native Americans are stupid. That no. could not be the title. No. You have to pick on your own. Yeah. 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 They'd be like, we don't like this title. But, but if you were like, women are stupid. Yeah. God, I'm considering it now pretty heavily. <laughs> yeah. So many people. It's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Smart thoughts. We're like screaming, Mein Kampf. At my oh, show. my God. <laughs> Well, now Patty can laugh at those kind of jokes. You know, I hear you. Um, now I can't laugh at jo at those jokes anymore. Oh, <laughs> you keep sniffing. Yeah, um, I'm been doing cocaine as well as <laughs> well, drinking. I, day I think it's an interesting time mm. to bring up the video that I sent Native. Oh, excuse me, Patty. Patty, Patty can you play the video I sent you? Patty. Yep. And full volume, please. This guy's the best, dude. Yeah. Kyle. Yeah. I'm watching NASCAR from now on. That's you and oh, Betsy. Oh, I was looking for the... That's you. That's Betsy. You, Betsy. You. <laughs> It's a joke. There's Betsy. There's you. Think that was fun? Huh? That was the best thing I've ever heard. That was my dog and I. So simpatico yeah. Yeah. that I snore, she snore. You I snore, snore she, she snores. snores. Yeah. Wow. Were you able to fall asleep? No. <laughs> <laughs> no uh yeah did you want to murder me no. no no this by the way this wasn't the first time that's ever happened really no it was just the first time where i was like oh i should record this <laughs> yeah, it happens all the time oh that dog so many people don't know her name uh we walked her around the neighborhood and some guy was like biffy Oh my god! I'm like Biffy. What do you hear? Bitsy. Oh, Biffy. Yeah, Biffy. He said it like that. Oh, like I get it. Biffy. <laughs> Biffy. Oh, uh, yeah. So I went to the dentist. That that one wanted me to get a mouth guard. The one that wanted fourteen hundred dollars for one. Oh my god! It's not a bad idea because I think I clench my jaw at night. Yeah. Because my teeth are really ground down. Oh my god! Yeah, like they're raw. Like I'm feeling like a it. meth addict. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you sleep with something at night though? How did how hard was it to get used to? Not that hard, and really? I cannot sleep without it. I fucking forgot it on tour, like a month or two ago, and I had it overnighted. No was, shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I can't. I cannot survive without that thing. 
Yeah. Speaking of killing your spouse. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you want to? Oh my God, you're going to love this article. Yeah, this is fucking <sighs> so rad. <laughs> so this morning, actually, we were laying in bed and Tom was like kind of half half awake. Yeah. And we start talking and I'm like, you got to see, this article is unbelievable. So this happened in India. There was a man who was like 27 years old and, you know, they have, they arrange marriages there. Yeah. The girl had a learning disability and they set her up with this guy. Uh, the family gave him money to take care of her. That was the thought, right? Like she's she's got this learning disability. He's going to take care of her. Well, <laughs> well, that's true. That's what it says in the article. I know, but it's just like it's a crazy thing. It's a cool like, guy. Hey, you want to marry this person? So there they are. Who's disabled, but we'll give you money. Yeah. So he comes from a lower. Uh, cast like he doesn't have money so it was a very enticing offer for him so they get married and then and then slowly he starts asking for more and more from from her parents so yeah. the dowry i don't know if you can find that in the article it's pretty funny her dowry is ridiculous was it like it's a silly an, amount yeah it's just like in india it's like five here we go when the couple married he accepted a dowry of 720 grams of gold a Suzuki sedan and a five hundred and five hundred thousand rupees. About what is I can't read it. Sixty seven hundred in cash. Okay, so that's you know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then he started asking for more. Like, well, yeah, that's not that much money, bro. <laughs> a Suzuki sedan <laughs> and seven hundred twenty grams of gold is kind of cool too. So he starts asking for more. The parents are like, "Fuck you! That's not the deal. You take care of our daughter." So he proceeds. To try, to, he gives her a glass of orange juice with a bunch of sedatives in it, and he's like, "Go to sleep." She goes to sleep, and he lets cobras loose in the bed, <laughs> hoping that the cobras bite her. And they are venomous. You die from from the cobra bite if you don't get treated within minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, So here he is. So so she dies from a cobra bite. Yeah. The family is like, "No, no, no. Something's fishy here. Let's investigate." So this is him. On YouTube, he has a channel with like 270,000 followers where he handles venomous snakes. Mm -hmm. So they made the connection that something's up here. This guy's accustomed to dealing with these snakes, da, 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 da. So he let the snake go. And what they discovered is cobras don't really attack you past 8 p.m. Like they're, they go dormant at night. Mm -hmm. And so what he had to do to get the cobras to kill her is you, you know when you milk the snake, you put their fangs up against a yeah, jar like and it a takes... Cup, yeah. yeah, So he puts it on her wrist, forcibly for, forces the cobra to bite her. And yeah. that's how she dies. And they, they figured out that those cobra bites were forcible. That's and, tight. And isn't that amazing? I thought yeah. you would love that story. He's a legend. This guy's a legend. <laughs> and uh, now he's in... He, he got arrested. He now. got arrested. He's in prison. They, they, yeah, they put him away. But see here, cobras generally don't bite unless they're highly provoked. And after 8 p.m., they're generally dormant. Mm -hmm. And then they did a, a series of re reenactments with like a dummy. See? So here's what this, this woman's scenario was. And here's a cobra. And mm -hmm. they're provoking the cobra. And the pro it won't do it. But also that's a doll. It is a doll. But then they do another series of tests where... A, they should have put like a small child there. And see what <laughs> yeah. They should have. Those are expendable in India, right? <laughs> <laughs> they don't they have no regard for human life. Over <laughs> People die, man. That's uh, how they are. Jesus Christ. So here they did other tests and stuff, and basically they figured them out. But, but it got a, us to thinking. <laughs> It really got us to thinking because it was a it was a very clever murder, you know. So, so here's the reenactment. Sorry. So yeah. here's a wrist with a piece of chicken on it. Yeah. And they're trying to get the cobra to attack the chicken, and the cobra's like, "Nah." So it's too late. He's like, "I'm resting now. I'm I watch, resting. I watch Netflix at night. I don't <laughs> fucking kill at night." <laughs> yeah, it's Netflix and chill. Jesus. Yeah, he's got to watch the holiday with Cameron Diaz. So there you go. So well, the, the snake won't bite. So here's the thing, though. It got us to thinking what a clever man this is. I mean, great way to kill. He did a somewhat naughty thing, but it was very <laughs> clever. And and it got us to thinking about regional killing. Yes, which is you know like because a cobra like a cobra death in New York City would sp spawn like yeah I mean that would a huge investigation immediately. It's very suspicious in India. Somewhat common, right? Yeah, you there's people die from cobra bites. 
quite frequently, yeah. So it got us to thinking, if you're somebody that wants to kill your spouse, <laughs> what you do is when you get to a, an area, let's say it's a new area to, to you, you start asking around, hey, how do people die around here? <laughs> Hey, man. What's a kind of common way that people die around here? You know? That's right. And then they start telling you, well, they're like, well, that's kind of a <laughs> it's kind of a funny question, but you know what? A lot of people die around here on boating accidents. And you're like, you don't say. Yes. And then a bunch of people meet you and they're like, did he ask you how people die around here? And you're like, yeah, he did. Like one of the first. He asked two questions. He says, where is there a gold, good cold brew coffee and how do people die around here? And I told him, there's a couple of good coffee spots and people drown a lot. Drown a lot on Lake Travis, yeah. And then he was like, I'm all right. Cause, cause you, just like to know these things. Because <laughs> if you drown, so, so lake deaths are very common here. Yeah. So that's probably how you would kill me. And then the police would be like, yeah, he was asking, you were asking people around town, what's the best way to die? Locally? And it was like three months to the day <laughs> where she drowned, you know? Yeah. The jet ski mysteriously sunk. <laughs> the jet ski. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. So so that's how you would do me in is uh, drowning on Lake Travis. Maybe you get me intoxicated and then be like, I don't know. She just fell off the boat. Yeah. She was dancing naked. <laughs> she was that's dancing what they do. naked on the boat. Because all those partiers, oh, yeah. that's what happens. They they get ripped in that the summertime. That would get you ripped. I think I'd get you ripped. And then they dance around and then they drown. And or then they what get I would do over. is I would be like, no, hold on to this rope on the back <laughs> of the boat. I'm going to pull you, you know? And then uh, since you're all loosey goosey, I, I cut your uh, life vest. Yeah. You, oh, so there's holes in it? You cut, you cut <laughs> the cut cushions the straps, out? You know? So, oh. <laughs> and then I'm just pulling you on. You're like, this is fun. I'm having fun. But you're kind of drunk. Yeah. I'm going like 12 miles an hour. And then when I see you kind of like dip your head back, just go fucking 70. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. and then what, what I do happened? is I'm like, no, the thing is, I don't, I, I lost, I don't know where, where she fell off. That's good acting, by the way. It's really good acting. I kept, I think it was over by that lighthouse or, you know, I point oh, wow. somewhere. And meanwhile, I know that you're not there. That's you're really right. good. Well, I was thinking, um, like freezing to death. I do would, the I do the Kyle Rittenhouse. I go. <laughs> I miss her. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Didn't they catch him like laughing later? Did they catch him in, laughing in the car at Rittenhouse? Yeah, there's pictures know. of him being like. <laughs> I just remember him on the uh, witness stand where he was like. <laughs> yeah, cry baby. But there was no tears. You know? mm. Yeah. I, 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 I'm so scared. <laughs> that's okay. good, Tom. Yeah. Um, I would get you to freeze to death. I think that's a pretty That's a good one. Good regional death. Like, hey, let's go to Alaska. Yes. And see the Aurora Borealis. We'll camp out here. Oh my god. That is such a good way to kill somebody. It's the easiest. Now you have to know that terrain. That's the only thing, is you gotta know it a little bit. Yeah. But I think that's it's a tricky. solid way to kill someone. And and there's like a really plausible deniability yeah. to getting somebody to a campsite in the cold, way up high, right? And then what you do is you just go like, I'm gonna I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way. You wait here, you know? And you take water or food with you, and then you know, you just hike, but then you, you gotta leave the person in some really cold, you got to do it in like really cold temperatures, you know. Yeah. Hopefully, they can go quickly. Snow, but but then they'll they'll get eaten by animals and such. Well, they'll they'll get eaten later, you know. Oh right, and that's that's a, that's, that's a that's a great way to get best. rid of the evidence. That's yeah. the best. And then you go to the you're like, I I, I don't know where. <laughs> 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 I just I'm so cold. Can we send out a search party? <laughs> Well, like that Brian Laundry, you know, oh, yeah. he went out into the swamps, basically. Well, that was after he killed her. That's right. Right, yeah, yeah. But you can't live out there. No. Know? And he's not the a- Everglades? Sur no, no, and he's not a survivalist. He he yeah. had some experience, but, you know, these survivalist guys, I think even they were interviewing some of them, and they're like, you he can't- He found his jaw. 
Yo. Yeah. So do you think he got eaten? I don't know. I mean, he got eaten for sure. I just don't know how he died first. Right. I don't, I don't know if he was eaten and that was his death, manner of death, you know. <sighs> it's a bad way to die. He strangled her. He stra- strangulation. Which, by the way, bad if, you, way. if you don't want to, but it's not complicated. It's not. <laughs> if you're looking for an uncomplicated way to kill someone, strangle them. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward, but the rage, you must feel so rageful to strangle somebody. You have to feel rage and also... I mean, it's a really good way to kill somebody smaller and weaker than you. Yeah, I couldn't strangle anybody. No, Maybe you could. Maybe a dog. You could definitely strangle the dog. Yeah. And uh, and a, a small person. A smaller person. Yeah, Brad Williams. Yeah. I could strangle. I don't, oh, he might be stronger than me, actually, Brad Williams. <laughs> For sure, he is. <laughs> he's shorter, but he's stout. Yeah, no, he's strong. He's sturdy, yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, whatever. A fifth grader, you could strangle them. Um, yeah, I could strangle a fifth grader. Yeah. A f- definitely like a three-year-old. Yeah. A six-year-old. Yeah. Sure. Sure. But you know what sucks, man? I'll tell you what fucking sucks so much what? about strangling someone to death. These forensic people are so on point now know. that they're, they know it immediately. The ligature marks, like they'll, they'll just, they can, they just perform an autopsy and you're just fucking busted. It sucks. Yeah. You can't do it anymore. You can't. No. Because they, yeah. they, they knew with Gabby's body that she was strangled. Yeah. So they found it r- right away. They, that's, it is so hard to commit a crime now. Yeah. That's I why mean, snow is the best. Freezing to death. Freeze, like, like leading someone out there to, you know what I mean? Where you're not, there's no physical evidence you did anything. You got to be clever about it. Well, here's the problem is how do you get familiar with the terrain? That's what I'm saying. That's the challenge. That's the challenge. If you could somehow not, you know what too is like, don't fucking take your cell phone to the place. Like you got to leave your cell phone at home. Yeah, but here's the other thing. And then take a burner. You need a pattern of leaving your cell phone at home. Mm. If you leave your cell phone at home just when you go to commit murder, they'll be like, you never leave your cell phone at home. Interesting. You got to think ahead like that. Oh, wow. You really are thinking this. (laughs) Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. So that's not used as an alibi anymore. Like, oh, I, I left my phone at home. If you, I was I've, home. Wa- I've watched all these shows. If you did that one time, that is a an absolute like red flag. Wow. Yeah. So you have to establish a pattern. Of course. Or they, like, where they could be like, you know what? This person leaves their phone behind all the time. Then it's not, you know, something that, that would alarm them. Wow. It's tough, man. It's tough to murder these days. Like, it's not. It is tough. It's a bummer. <laughs> it's tough out there for a killer, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why regional killing is really the way to go. How do people die around here? <laughs> you got to ask it every time. Every time I go on vacation, I ask. As soon as I get to the hotel, how do people die around yeah. here? Or even hunting accidents. I mean, isn't that the easiest one to get out of? Not really. I mean, there was oh. that Vietnamese guy. I think it was in Wisconsin a few years back. He set up at a post. He was in a tree stand and just started killing people. And he was like, I thought they were deer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's and a lot of people. Maybe just like you and I are out. You know, you know what would really suck though? Huh? Let's say you were doing the, uh, the, uh, the lead me into the, the terrain. Yeah. Like to le- so let's say it was you. And you're like, I'm going to leave him out here. And then he's going to freeze to death. And then as we're headed out there, like we're getting into like the really isolated cold terrain. You slip and fall like you did on the stairs. Oh my God. And then you break your fucking leg. Yeah. But you were leading me to that. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're the perpetrator. That would be, oh boy, that would be bad. And then I get to turn around and go like, you didn't think I know what you were gonna do out oh, here? Oh no. Oh no. Good luck with the ankle. And I just put my shades on. You leave me there to die with my broken ankle? There's no fucking better excuse. That's true. Well, I was going to be like, I don't know what to do. I was like, I was, or you know what you could do? You could get back and be like, we need somebody. Oh my God. I saw this. I'm so worried. And then you go there and they're like, oh, she died. You're like, oh, that's too bad. I tried. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Wow, that's really cool. Thanks for sharing. God. Well, what? No, no. I mean, now your mother's fear of, you know, when your your mother would always be like, your father is going to dump me off in the, the orange groves. 
he was driving me down the street. It was abandoned. And oh I thought he God. was going to kill me. But that's because she watches the shows with him and she's out of her mind. <laughs> she watches these crime shows. They're the same ones that I watch. You know, Dateline and all those things. And he took her down a, a street that was like near some, uh, what was it called? What are they called? Groves, like the orange groves in yeah. Florida. And she was like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm going home. She's like, you never go this way. And he's like, well, it's just the way home. And she goes, stop the car. Turn around now. <laughs> She's like, you're going to kill me. He's like, I'm not going to kill you. Just please. And she starts begging for her life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but those, I mean, Florida, yeah, you could, a body could decompose so fast, right? Out there on those orange groves and those swamps. Oh, yeah. Just gators or crocodile or oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Eat, eat well, them. the animals get to you. I think the decomp is takes its whatever time. It's probably definitely faster and hotter weather for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's the animals. The animals get to you. It's really great to, to off somebody in hot weather. Hot weather. <laughs> yeah. well, we were thinking Not cold. cold weather. No. Cold weather preserves fucking everything. Oh, yeah. Well, I was leaning towards freezing to death. Well, yeah, but I'm saying if you commit a homicide, mm-hmm. like the cold preserve, like if you poison somebody. Oh, I would never. If you strength, like it preserves the body. Yeah. You know? See, this cobra guy's mistake yeah. is that like he let the cobras in and he, he gave um, her a sedative before he let the cobras in. Yeah, he wasn't. Stupid. He, he's stupid. Yeah, so like you, you guys should have gone on like a hike in India, wherever yeah. the cobras are, and be yeah. like, just push her into like a cobra nest <laughs> or something. I don't know. Yeah, and I mean, for Christ's her. sake, she had a learning disability. I know. you couldn't have fucking <laughs> right. He could have led that duck to water a little easier. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, that was shooting fish in a barrel, is what you're saying. Well, and he yeah, didn't, and he didn't. Yeah, he must have been not that. He could have just either. been like, put this fork in the outlet. You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> God, that's so true. Wait a minute, you just. <laughs> that's so true. Why was he going through this elaborate? I don't know. Thing? She was like, "What?" And he's like, "That's how we turn the lights on." Okay. <laughs> 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 oh my god exactly and be like i don't know she i don't know put her she just did it. it yeah what the fuck am i supposed to do yeah that's the way to do it yeah you're supposed to open the oven to heat up the apartment <laughs> turn the gas up <laughs> see you later yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kind of stuff yeah he went he went too crazy on that he overthought it he overshot it uh, man yeah there's easier ways to kill this episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Theragun. I just have to say that there are some products that you fall in love with, and Theragun is one of them. Do not let the stress of daily life weigh on your body. Whether you're an elite athlete or someone like me just trying to make it through the day, tension-free, Theragun can help. That thing takes me to a level of relaxation that I didn't know was possible. Theragun is the handheld percussive therapy device that releases your deepest muscle tension using a scientifically calibrated combo of depth, speed, and power, and it's as quiet as an electric toothbrush. I mean, your shoulders, your neck, your quads, your hamstrings, your whole body. This thing is outrageous. Try Theragun for 30 days starting at only $199. Go to therabody.com slash mom right now and get your Gen 4 Theragun today. That's therabody.com slash mom, therabody.com slash mom. The holidays are just around the corner. And if you're looking for a perfect gift for your loved ones, you got to do skylight frames. We are such huge fans of skylight frames. Uh, so they, you get sent it to your house like a little box. You set it up. It just takes a few seconds. You set an email account up and then you send photos directly to the frame. How great is that? So it switches out these photos and the kids love seeing pictures of themselves. And it's a great way to share moments with other family members because they can also send pictures uh, from 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 their phones too you know you have all these great pictures in your phone and you never get to see them but with skylight frames it just is so fantastic um i gave one to my cousin and she actually cried tears of joy 
you know, because we don't get to see each other as much now that we live in Texas. So here's the offer. As a special offer, you can get $10 off your purchase of a skylight frame when you go to skylightframe.com and enter code house. That's right. To get $10 off your purchase of a skylight frame, just go skylightframe.com and enter house. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E.com. Promo code house. Who else could we kill? Well, you want to kill people with no, like, people who look for them, right? So people with minimal ties to other humans, right? How would you kill Patty O'Callaghan? Well, he's got friends and stuff. Yeah. I'd poison his chicken wings, maybe. Oh, but poison's so detectable. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Oh, accidental overdose? Mm. Something? Maybe, like, like, on his pot, put something on there. Oh, that's still... Well, how would you kill him? Hmm. I know. You know how, like, he and any rode those dumb scooters around? Yeah. Like, loosen something on the scooter? Yeah, but that's just going to be, like, a probably orthopedic injury. Hmm. You know, you got to think, hmm. game over. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Probably, probably, uh, I would probably lure him into a poker game. Oh. You know. Oh, what are the stakes? There yeah. you go. See? There you go, dummy. You got to know your, your prey. You got to know yeah. what you're going after. That's true. Get somebody in a chat room to be like, yeah, there's, you know, I'll I'll go ahead and front you these 10 grand and come over to this house like that kind of, get them to go somewhere. Mm. You know? And then at the house? Yeah, just the blood of Christ. He just, he just, <laughs> he just walks in and just lights on fire. <laughs> Now, here's a silly question. Mm. If I had legal consent to kill you, like let's say you and I go to an, a lawyer. No? It doesn't work that it way. It doesn't work that way. Really? No, even I in mean, Texas? there's, there's like, like there's, a, there's assisted, and that's like, you know, if someone's yeah. usually sick, and the, there's a, but it's not here in Texas. And that, uh, yeah, but it's not here. Physician-assisted suicide is legal in 10 U.S. states and District of Columbia. It is yeah, an option. To just to be clear, just to be clear, I'm in good health and do not want this to happen. <laughs> I would like to say that now. I'm not looking to die. I'm not looking to die either. Well, I just want to put it out there because it was your suggestion. No, no. I'm just saying like... Like on the live show, we had discussed that guy in Germany who wanted somebody to eat his penis. Yeah. And he had a contract he, drawn yeah, up. Yeah, he wanted, he wanted that to happen. Yeah. So in Germany, apparently, that's hunky-dory. Yeah. The Germans They're are out strength. of their minds, yeah. Okay. But if I say to you, Tom, I, I really want you to consume my tits and then my legs, and then I want you to kill me, mm -hmm. and we can't go to a lawyer and get that like notarized? or <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Notarized. I don't know. You have a notary come over and you... Oh, yeah. You want them to eat your tits and it kill you? Yeah, that's fine. I don't think so. Well, okay. Okay. I just thought I'd try. I know. I'm trying to think of who else we could kill on staff. Chris Larson would be the easiest. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. He's the sweetest. He's a more naive. Oh. You could lure him into some darkness. Well, he'd be, he'd be, he'd be easy to lure. Yeah. But I'm talking about the actual manner of death, you know? Yeah. Oh, and Chris doesn't fall for tricks, they said. Really? Yeah. Well, why do you think that? I don't know. I just think he's crafty. I think the second you start kind of pitching him on stuff that you normally don't pitch him on, he, you know, his eyes get a little squinty. He's like, what? Why would I... Why would I want to go on this cruise for six months? Cruise is a great way to murder somebody. It happens a lot, <laughs> no? I just got to say, he went in that stripper room That's pretty easy. Right. Yeah. Pretty Sounds like easy. maybe pussy's the trick with yeah. Chris. Get a woman to... <laughs> Put some poison in her pussy and then... Jesus. <laughs> he fucks her and dies. Can you do that? I'm sure you could. I don't think you can. There's got to be something. Oh, the old poison in the pussy trick. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, you're really cool. Yeah, you could lure him in. A woman would lure him in. The honeypot. Isn't that what they call that in the CIA? Yeah. The honeypot. 
The women make great spies and and right covert agents and oh that shit because you never know sex. That's right. Men are just like dum dums. Yeah, yeah. They 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 absolutely in that in that spy. I mean, there's must be dirt on so many people, high level shit that we never would ever find out about, where they lured a, a powerful person into sex and you know captured her on camera or are able to hold that over them as blackmail oh my gosh yeah. well i was watching the eyes of tammy Faye, that movie which is fantastic jessica chastain plays tammy Faye baker do you remember the tammy Faye jim baker of scandal? course those days yeah yeah so i grew up when this came out so i was i was a child when she was very popular so tammy Faye and jim baker were two one of the first televangelists and they made millions and millions of dollars and they even could afford a satellite which allowed them to broadcast their religious programming 24 seven over the world. And eventually, of course, Jim Baker got, they got into trouble because he was funneling funds into things that didn't exist and yeah. you know, taking money out of the church, which is Look pretty fucking Look at how crazy common. she looks in that picture right there. Yes. Fucking A. But why would I, why was I bringing that up? What were we talking about right before? Uh, Guys from Killing Miami. Chris Larson and pussy is a trick. Pussy, so, so right, so Jessica Hahn, so he did get set up, Baker. He did? By Jessica Hahn, who was very famous, red-haired uh, lady who had sex with him mm -hmm. and then was blackmailing him and then she came out with the story anyway. So she got the money and then she still fucking ratted him out. Stupid bitch, right? Blackmail is... Uh, it never works, right? Like No, no it, it does work. But yeah. I'm saying like it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a horrible position, I think, for someone like that to be in. They're like someone's holding that over you, you know? Like this is, it's one of, it's, that's one of the old spy tricks, you know? Yeah. yeah. So she, she set him up. So terrible. Mm. Yeah, you fucking bitch. Let me ask you something. Sure. How would you kill any? Oh, that's easy. It, hey, any, there's a huge party oh, yeah. happening and there's like hot, hot chicks and fun stuff. And then like. Yeah, you just take him in, into a back room, and then some guy just fucking clubs him. Jesus. Nah, we, we should we should do it at my house. We should do it at my house. Yeah, nah, I'm I'm paranoid of everything, bro. You can never kill me. You can't prank me. You can't kill me. I do believe that me. he has a high paranoia threshold. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, yeah. I see your shit a mile away, dog. A woman. Then it's a woman. It's got to well, be yeah. somehow. Yeah, he. I don't he trust bitches either. Yeah, he doesn't trust her. <laughs> doesn't trust him, but <clears throat> yeah. God, I'd be the easiest to kill. You're like, Christina, look over there. And you can just chop my fucking head off. Oh, so I don't trusting. think it would be hard to kill you. No. Yeah. You would be, how would I kill you? I mean, there's, I mean, uh, look, anybody can get killed. <laughs> you could definitely kill me. Okay. But I'm not going to tell you. Oh. <clears throat> Driving accident. I cut the brakes. Cut the, like, you even know what that means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> There's a YouTube video. I could figure it out. You don't think I would know that my brake lines were cut as I was pulling out of the driveway? Like, oh, wow, these brakes don't work. I'd figure out a way to do it. Like, you know how when you go in racetrack driving? Uh-huh. And I, I'd cut the brakes there somehow. Yeah, but we wear helmets and shit there. That's actually one of the safer places. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Helmets, huh? Helmets. And suits like these guys? Yeah, it says M&Ms all over it. <laughs> do you, when you go... From rumming, mm -hmm. do you, yeah, do you wear like a suit with all the cool? Mine's mo mostly Skittles, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Skittles. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that's adorable. Hey, we got to get to this. Okay. I heard you bitch oh. for me. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have, this is a YMH exclusive. Huge, huge news. That we aired on the live show. My suspension, I've been suspended from TikTok, will be up tomorrow. And... I'm fucking pissed, dude. I love that platform. I bleed for that platform. I you sure do. die for it. So I've been stockpiling videos. Rest assured, when you go to at the water champ after the 23rd, there's gonna be a lot of fresh new content. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, dog. Yeah, they can't you, they can't haul me back. They've been trying to censor me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, are you hungry? <laughs> Say yeah. I don't like this. I don't like all. that one either. I wouldn't have opened with that for you. That was just to make you upset. Well, guess what? That worked. Erection achieved. Ugh. <laughs> what is happening? 
I know. Just and I, I've duetted this one. You can see this one uh, starting tomorrow too on my account. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like that. You like this one? Yeah, I felt like he was degrading somebody. Yeah, himself, his own image. That was kind of cool. <laughs> I feel like he's really going through something. He is going through something. It was uh, <laughs> it was fun, you know. Different. Okay. I've never seen that before on the talk. It's definitely different. It's definitely different. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> we were just exploding. <laughs> <laughs> Those are lungs. That's cool as shit. Very cool. Yeah, I know you like those educational ones. I like that a lot. Yeah. Oh, got it, you mom. You mom. Please, please. Mm -hmm. please. You, but you know, you know. Oh, that 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 yes, you know. And yeah. Yeah. This one's pretty great. So this is like a bunch of dorky tourists on yeah. bikes. Yeah. And these people are like, please just get out of here. Go go away. We don't yeah. want you. I don't want your stupid dumb helmets on your bicycles. Like go away. Get out of here. Get out of here. Scram. This is not for your tourism. This is our home. And I, I, like, I like that. Yeah. 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 This is like primal level uh gentrification. Yeah. 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 They're like, this is an African village, here. probably, right? Yeah. I'm assuming so. And uh, they're like, Yeah, stop fucking riding your bike through here. Yeah. This isn't for you, dude. So here's the deal. I got your six. That ain't a question. Have you got mine? If so, like and follow. <laughs> that was fucking dumb. Are you liking? Are yeah. you following? I like that. Well, I've never heard that phrase from these cool guys. Usually these, you know, they go around. Uh -huh. This was an original. I've never heard that one. I've got, I've got your six, yeah. <laughs> It's got strong vibes. I got your sex. Eating television on. <laughs> Do you have mine? That was. I'm gonna replay that. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. I got your sex. Take care of you. That ain't a question. No question. Have you got mine? Ugh. If so, like and follow. Mm -hmm. Cleaning his teeth out. Like a ball. Show me what you got. Because there ain't no question about me. <laughs> yeah. Sweet, man. He's always hard. This woman slept with 919 men in one day. In 2004, Lisa Sparks, who's been married since 1995, set a record that has not been beat at the annual World Championships in Poland. She competed against two other women, one of whom was a former world record holder with 759 men in a day. Though not technically even a full day, it occurred in just 12 hours, meaning she was with each man for about 45 seconds. It's a lot of dicks that so, day. So many dicks. In a yeah. Day. 45 seconds per I mean, dick. does part of you, though, want to experience that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Babe. What? Babe, nine, how many? Nine, 900. Boo, boo, boo. Okay, just like pare it down. What about 19? <laughs> 45 seconds with 19? Uh, babe, I don't want to answer this. I don't like this. Sounds like I just touched a nerve. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even want to... I can't even fathom it. Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> and did she did she do this for the entertainment industry or just for she fun? She did it to be a world champion. Okay. Because she's a winner. Yeah. She's the record holder. It still hasn't been topped. <laughs> she said there was a woman that did 700 yeah. something. Yeah, guess that's... what? That's called second place. <laughs> this is wild. That's got to be a shitty feeling. Second place. <laughs> <laughs> like, what'd you do? I fucked 700 guys today. That's but it? <laughs> silver medal, you know. Silver, a 700. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Man. So what many. Oh, shit, I'm surrounded. Oh, oh, oh. I had in the washer. Hang on, find me in here. What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? I'm always getting to, to all these other universes. Where the hell am I this time? I guess I can't be a getaway cow. I'm wearing a hole. Oh no, cows can't fly. It's okay, buddy. I'll save you. All right. 
Appreciate the help. I'm glad we landed safely. It's so much. It's so long. This guy has a kind of a Cobra could kill him vibes. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Look like a storm coming in. God damn. How fucking long is this thing? It is pretty creative for as far as talks go. This is one of the most creative ones I've ever seen. It must have taken him hours to do this. All the different backgrounds and stuff. Yeah. It's pretty good. So this is my grandma's candle. It's 40 years old. 40 years ago, she put a candle on top of a beer can and it's been growing ever since. Is that cool or gross? It's a good question. It's it, it really is a little bit of both, isn't it? Right. It is. Like, I can't decide if I'm like, that's awesome. Or I think that's it, so it would make me feel better if they cleaned up around the base there <laughs> on the table. Like, it might have a, a little higher cool factor and less of a gross factor. Yeah, because that's ruining your table, too. Yeah. It's not being very respectful of your furniture. And she started with Coke cans. Didn't she say, like, there's cans in the middle of that? And I don't then. Know. 40 years 40 years to keep adding to a candle wow i mean i like the woman's dedication that's real dedication that is art it's kind of cool yeah. yeah and gross anybody out there please tell me what this is <laughs> i can tell you what it is what is it babe this is so just so you guys know this is the talk that got me suspended because <laughs> I do edit it. I answered him and I got caught for bullying, which like I think you stitched it. I f sorry. That's right. I stitched it. It wasn't even fucking bullying. I mean, bitch, I want to find out who reported me. I'll show you what fucking bullying. I is. believe the, uh, your talk you said, he said, uh, can anybody tell me what this is? And you go like, what isn't it? Which Everything. Part? Yeah. It's which all part? It's up. all fucked up. That's all I said. Yeah. Yeah, all of it, dude. I mean, look, it, there's so much that's fucked up. Which part? The whole leg is is bad. And then the feetsies and then the sores. No, it's, he's not doing well. That's <laughs> up in the air. Can confirm. Wow. You like it? Yeah, it was great. It's edema. It's severe swelling. That's what I'm going to go for. Jesus Christ. All right, let's... Um, <clears throat> Jesus. I don't know. Oof. I really like to take something down. No, oh, why? Because it's so fucking. How do you get like that? That's so sad. Ugh. Ugh. Here, just something to cleanse the palate. Jesus. <laughs> 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 Wow. You want to know something? What? That looks just like my cousin Steve. <laughs> you see it? Yes. I can. Wow. Is he crying? He's struggling. <laughs> I think he's strained a lot to do that. But tears. He's weeping. Yeah, he's I think he's sweating too. <laughs> it's kind of mixed together. Now, I know everybody's- It's an awesome angle. It's great. Everyone who listens to this program is going to be like, is that real? Was yeah, that mixed? Yeah, it sure sounded real. <laughs> was the audio layered? How'd you get this one? Was this sent in? Yeah. Yeah, this one was emailed to us. Was it, uh, is it the user that sent it in? Like, is it the- I'm not sure. I think this was uh, sent in, like, just as an attachment with nothing really else written yeah, in. He looks it. like he's <laughs> weeping and sweating. Yeah, he's yeah. having a rough time. And he strained so hard. So hard. God. It's really cool. It is really cool. Look. <laughs> oh my God. He's, cry he's crying tears yeah. of joy. Yeah. Like I did that. Do you think this guy gets laid? That's a thing. You know, whenever we play these with Dr. Drew, and Drew's always so, he always points out like, you know, the male drive to get laid is so, it's so pre prevalent. Yeah. And like this goes against that theory. Like, like you know, girls are going to see this, right? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. 
They are. The special lady. I'd like it. You would? Why don't you make fart vids? <laughs> I don't really want to do that. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do that. I know. But I, it really looks like my cousin Steve. <laughs> it does, I know. Like if you had does. put that up for a second, and took <gasps> away, I'd be like, you have a video of my cousin Steve? It does look like your cousin Steve. Isn't that weird how we do have doppelgangers though in the world? Yeah. They both well, I you. get so many. <laughs> you do. That are not, and then you know the worst is when people are like, I found your doppelganger. It's just some guy, and it's with not. A beard. Yeah, it's one not time I close. did see a woman in public that looked just like me. Uh, I didn't say anything to her. But you did? Like, yeah, could actually probably could be my biological sister. When I think about it, my dad could be. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have said something. Okay, do you know who your dad is? <laughs> I know. I get so afraid to check 23 and me when they send me those updates. Oh my God. Or if they're like, you have 26 siblings. And you're like, what? I could. <laughs> you're not going to check that? Um, no, because like, no, I'm actually, I am legitimately oh. nervous that I will find a sibling in like Cambodia or the but Philippines. But that would bother you? Um, I mean, it'd probably be good to know. I guess. Yeah. What Should I talk to them? Like, let's say I did have one. What, like, what, if you had one, would you want to know Yeah, a person? sibling? Sure. I guess. It's different than saying, like, these are kids you didn't know about, you know? Yeah. But having a sibling, I mean, why not? It would be kind of cool. It'd be a cool thing to do for Christmas this year. <laughs> we could send out a bunch of Christmas cards. Hey, bro. You're my bro. You're my bro. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. It would be hmm. cool. What if that's your bro? I do. I, I love that guy. He could be my bro. Yeah. He's a cool guy. God. <laughs> Such a cool expression. <laughs> See if I can freeze it on. Yeah. <laughs> That's the grossest fart face. I hate that fart face. Oh, and he's missing teeth too. I don't know why I'm surprised. The the real grunt face. Yeah, I don't like the grunt. The struggle face. fart. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. He's a great guy. Yeah, that is a good T-shirt, isn't it? Yeah. Just that expression. Uh. Ah, All right, we should run. Um, okay. This closing song is Pillow Talk by Matt Christopher. Uh, don't forget, ymhstudios.com slash rentals if you want to check out the last live show. And uh, we are on tour. I added, if you didn't hear last week, I added a show in Chicago, Illinois, um, April 16th. It's my birthday, and I'm doing Credit Union One Arena. Wow. On my birthday. That's amazing, Gene. So that's April 16th. It's on sale right now at tomsegur.com slash tour. And let's see. Gene Jacket, uh, you will be... Scroll, scroll. There. San Antonio, December 10th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. You'll be in Orlando, Florida, December 16th, 17th, and 18th. And you will be shooting... Touch my camera through the fence <laughs> on January 22nd at the Gramercy Theater in New York. It's sold out, and so is your warm-up show on the 21st. Congratulations. Thanks. Or The and Power of Dumb. Or Broads or, are, yeah, broads are women Stupid. Women Are Stupid. Women Are Stupid. Women Are Stupid is a fucking banger of a title. I swear, so many men would watch that just being like, I can't find I can't someone's wait. saying it. Yeah. yeah. That a woman named her I would like to. I and then would. you even get you I get would. all the critics be like that was so meta. I believe <laughs> that you you know you you win everybody over. Dumb broad. Dumb fucking broad. Dumb broad. What yeah. if I called it that? I could get I could get away with dumb broad. You can get away with any of those titles. Yeah. Any title that you're shitting on a woman yeah. from a woman is fine. I know, man. I really got to capitalize on this. Yeah. Women are fucking stupid. Mhm. Mm yeah. All right. Okay, I love you. I love you. Bye, guys. Bye, jeans. Fuck me in my ass, <laughs> man. Fuck me in my ass, man. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me.
A dick suck ain't cheating. Hey, Saturday night, tomorrow night, yeah. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. Please continue to watch more. You can see all these were my hands gesturing. You can click on those. And please subscribe if you have not yet. And subscribe button, and then we'll get your money. Thanks.